Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. I'm with my good buddy Darren. He's the owner of Direct Truck and Diesel Repair in San Bernardino, California. Uh, he's owned this business, how long have we had this business? 22, 23 years, 22, okay. 23. Okay. So I, I just wanted to sit down with him, ask him a couple questions about the industry. 60, 64, or 67, which one would you pick? <laughs> I'm a Ford guy. I wouldn't do it. I would go with the Cummins right. engine. I would go with the Cummins. I would go with the Cummins. I, I, I guess because... Okay, if it was the last girl on earth, right. the 6.0, the 6.4, the 6.7. I think I take the 6.0. Really? I think I take the 6.0. It's easier to work on. It's easier to work on. And, and because I'm a little bit older, I like the Huey style. Like I like, and most people probably say, oh, that's completely wrong. I like because I really understand high pressure oil, you know, like high pressure oil to drive injectors. And because we understand everything about them, if we had a truck that had one in it and something went wrong, we could fix it like that. Versus we haven't seen a lot of six sevens because a lot of them are still under warranty. They warrantied the crap out of those motors. We haven't seen a bunch of them. Um, we did have a couple six fours in here. We had one six four that came in here and um, it had uh, main bearing failures. Not not rod the six seven, and then there was another six four that we had that came in here before that had. Uh, well, sorry for interrupting again. I've heard that is because the injector for the regeneration process is dumping fuel into the into the oil pan and creating oil. Right. So it's oil and diesel fuel mixed together, which is wiping out the bearings. Well, that that is one of the issues, but I mean, no different than, you know, the, the old the, the older Duramaxes. I mean, you know, you have an injector that would just start filling up the crankcase full of, you know what I mean? It would come out the top of the injector, especially the injector had a crack above the seal, and it just fill up the, you know, the, the head and drain down in there. And so kind of be the same, the same kind of thing. Uh, I, I can't pick an engine. I, like I said, I just see, I don't know what all the problems are going to, I guess, you know why I'd buy the 6L? Why I'd run the 6L? I know everything that can go wrong with it. <laughs> no, I know. I, I'm not, like when people say, oh, cylinder heads, cylinder heads, cylinder heads. We've only seen maybe two or three in here that had bad head gaskets that had cracked heads, only a couple. Because I'm just wondering, the ones those guys see, oh, you gotta stud these, you gotta do all this, you don't have to stud them. I yeah, just bulletproof wonder, them. Right, but I'm wondering, what are you running? Are you running a tuner on it? Or you know when that little light on the dash says check engine? You just kept driving, <laughs> right? But you know there's that comfort in knowing everything that's gonna go wrong with something. And I don't see, we've seen once, Two six fours in here with catastrophic engine damage, and one six seven with catastrophic engine damage. We have never had the only six point we had damage with. We bought the engine from Ford to put in somebody's truck. Mm -hmm. It was a company truck. They brought it back in about four months, and the number five connector rod was pushed out the side of the block. I don't know what caused that. It was a rebuild from the number them. Number five what? Connecting rod. It was out of the block. It was out the side of the block. There's Could a you hole. weld it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to fix your mic real quick. <laughs> was it a big old hole? Yeah, it was just hanging out the side. But so you're not, yeah. not going to weld that. No, you're not going to yeah. weld that. But anyways, that's that's what I'd pick because I still don't know what the problems are going to be with the with the uh, with the six seven, and I don't like. If I can really choose, could I have a could I have a Ford seven point three? Oh, old, even like, past that. Right, right, right. Those trucks are fetching a lot of money right they now. Are. If you can find the old body style, especially the crew cab ones, right. with the 7.3, right. it'll sell like the that. First, the first international tow truck that I ever bought, they didn't call it a 7.3. They called it a DT, what was it? I can't remember. I can't remember, but they, they, they gave it a, an international, because the international made the motor and they gave it to Ford or whatever. But anyway, so you have a truck that has 25,000 GVW, right? Mm -hmm. So empty, it weighs about 15,000 pounds. You put a car in a flatbed and one on the back, you know, you're probably around that 24, 25,000, right? So it has that motor with a Spicer five-speed in it. We didn't know, we bought the track brand new. We thought, oh, that's what you're supposed to get, you know, because I was, didn't know much about diesel. I'm like, well, clearly a V8's better than a straight six. Well, when it comes to diesel, that's not true, right? It's just not, or they'd be putting big V8s in every over-the-road truck. But anyways, so we had this truck. It was a dog. Then we found out, oh, they make different engines for these trucks. So we got ones with bigger engines, with DT-466s, which was the big six-cylinder, and those things pulled great. 
So I kept this truck for, I don't know, four or five years. By the time we got rid of it, we didn't use it a lot. We maybe had 285,000 miles mm -hmm. on it, maybe. And I sold it to a guy who was starting his towing company. So he buys it, then I see it at the international dealership one day, and I'm thinking, oh crap, the motor finally blew. So I go ask the service rider, hey, you know that truck out there for that tow company? I go, that's one of my old trucks. Putting a motor in it, he goes, no, it needs a steering gear. I went out and looked at the odometer, it had 386. He put another 100,000 miles on it, and it still had the same engine. So imagine that same, pretty much the same exact engine that was in a you know, Ford 7.3 was pulling a truck that weighs 15,000 pounds empty, and then when you load it, and it was able to pull that, so uh, by far, superior. 7.3. 7.3, superior. And the reason they got rid of that is because of all the smog regulations. Right. Exactly. Well, I know you got to get out of here, Darren, and yep. I appreciate your time. I, I really do. And we're going to put this all together. Guys, Darren, check out his website um, or just Google him, Direct Truck. And uh, thanks for watching. And um, thanks for watching, guys.